When we're exploring water quality and river health together, there are many wonderful starting points um, around the questions that we ask that lead our learning. Um, what did people do when floods contaminated rivers and springs um, in pre-colonial times? You know, were there ways in which people were able to still collect sweet water um, during times of floods? And this can be um, a good starting point for curriculum and the exploration of concerns because the water was often collected um, away from the river when the river was in flood for about three or four days. And Mbar's mother visited the class and as all good indigenous storytellers sometimes do, she asked the class a puzzling question. Every year with the first rains, the rivers and springs would become dirty and contaminated with bacteria, um, particularly from all of the cattle dung and all the feces that would wash in. How did people avoid getting sick? Some of the class answered that ututu could be used to clear the springs. Very good, she replied. You are already indigenous thinkers. That would take some days for the river to clear, but people had already collected water before the rain started. So that's what many sensible people did, collected the water first before the rains. And if they had used this up and the rains persisted for a few days, they would collect in rocky puddles for the three or four days until the river cleared naturally and all of the fecal matter and bacteria were washed to the sea. Now, here you see the practical wisdom around um, water quality and water collection that was evident in the um, early indigenous times so that you didn't get pandemics of um, disease and you were able to then find out more in the present day where you can see something like this during the times of floods where the sewage um, gets pushed out by the um, floodwaters and it runs straight into the rivers and contaminates um, the um, river water supply. And so what are we doing at the present? How do we work out solutions that um, we have got enough clean water um, because it costs considerably more money to um, clean polluted water than it does to clean good quality raw water that would come from a stream? And explore and try out together what could be done. So again, here's another example from Mba and her mum that allows us to touch the past in our memories and bring them into the present, looking at the problems that we have in the present so that we can feel a more hopeful future, flying on the wings of our imagination as we apply our minds to solve these kinds of problems in our local community. And... Um, think about them and learn about them in our classes as we teach our subjects together.